What's going on today, guys? How's everybody doing? How you doing today, YouTube? Hey, how's everyone doing? You looking good, too. Good looking out there, man. You guys are looking amazing. So today's video, man, we're going to talk about how to grow your tr your Twitter um, campaign. Grassroots. No spam bots. No mysterious paying advancements. Just grassroots. How to grow it um, so that you can make money, you can have followers, and you can be the bomb amongst your friends and family out there in the Twitter community. And you could just say, I got a thousand followers or I got 2000 or however many we'll get you today. But that's what we're going to talk about people's man. So, you know, <clears throat> social media is very important. If you're trying to um, have your own space or your own niche or your own business, you want to have, be able to reach a lot of people and have a following. So um, with that said, you came to this video because you already probably know that. Well, <clears throat> I'm going to try to get you a couple of more followers. And this is a proven system, system and method that I'm currently using. Um, so I just started my Twitter campaign like over a week ago. <clears throat> and I'm already up to 100. <clears throat> so what I did was, first off, I started a YouTube, um, making a couple of YouTube videos. Got me a YouTube um, platform, email, and channel. Got a YouTube page. You don't have to necessarily have any videos just as long as you have a page. I started off, I got me one email from Google <clears throat> for all of my platforms, Twitter, um, Facebook, Instagram. You want to have one email, one password, make it as simple and straightforward as possible. A lot of these um, <clears throat> different social media sites, they, and you know, whatever you're going to be on Google or anything, they let you link all your social medias together. Meaning if you're what, if you're look, looking, if you're pulling up CNN, a news article, a news clip, and you like that clip and you think it's good for your audience and you want to send it out, you can just click, click, click Twitter, Instagram and send it from right there from their platform. So have all your social medias kind of um, go together so that it makes it easier for you and us. <clears throat> so back to the Twitter. Like I said, I got all my social medias together. FelonTheFelon.com. Shout out to FelonTheFelon.com um, for supporting the channel. Um, shout out to you guys for listening. Um, so I got all of that together and I hope you do too. <clears throat> more videos and you know if you want to rock with me if you want to rock and roll with me we can chop it up on how to set up your facebook um website how to set up your facebook groups page and just how to engage and how to conduct yourself on your main facebook if you have a personal facebook a business facebook or whichever one it is <clears throat> for me i have to try to separate the two because i have a personal facebook that's more towards my high school friends and a lot of them aren't business um savvy yet so i'm trying to develop them to meet me where I'm at, but that Facebook group of friends is that Facebook group of friends. Then I have another Facebook group of friends that are business savvy, that's all pertaining to my business and my um, motivational um, ambitions in life. <clears throat> so I got my Twitter campaign. I want you want to go over your bio. You want to up if you have a website. You want to put in your website. You want to put in your name. You want to put in your bio. Make it sound something fun and engaging. Something that's not conflicting with anyone else's beliefs. Something um, that's pertaining to your niche. So you got your Twitter page already made. Now it's time to go out and make friends, you guys. How are we going to do it? Hey, Don, teach me. <clears throat> I'm about to go ahead and teach you. So the first thing you want to do is you want to um, know your niche. My niche is motivational speakers, um, you know, people of that sort, self-development gurus, and people that really um, share the beliefs and the values about uh, life and the pursuit of happiness that I share. So I found five key people. At the top of their, um, at the top of the food chain, motivational speakers, um, and I followed them, and I went and tweeted to them. Um, let me let me slow down. <clears throat> so, first off, you want to go and into Twitter, go up to the hashtag, type um, you keywords, keywords. That's what I that's what I call them. And that's what I like to do. Keywords that describe yourself, your business, and your beliefs. I have some keywords here that I was just um, playing around with. So justice, felony, self-love, um, love yourself, mindset. So I'll type in justice or prison reform. Prison reform because I'm a big advocate for felons and people with misdemeanors and people that have been incarcerated and people that are ready to get back on track with their life. I'm a big advocate for that. As you know, shout out to felon to felon. And that's what we're here to help those people because those are the people that we, I believe, need the biggest push um, back into society. So you type in prison reform, you'll see a gang of stuff with prison reforms. You want to like, that's the heart. You want to retweet, 
drop it down one with the retweet and you in the retweet you want to reply or leave a comment in your retweet and you want to follow the person like retweet comment and follow the person and you want to do that for an eight hour shift that's how long it took me man my thumbs and fingers were tired after clicking and commenting and liking and hearting and just loving on everybody and just a lot of some people as you do this they'll engage with you they'll like that you like theirs or the comment that you left that's an engagement they'll follow you that's an engagement that's a follow you want to have more engagements and more follows for the algorithm of Twitter it bumps you up right now you're down so you want to engage and make have a presence and let Twitter know not the audience know but let Twitter the algorithm know that hey I'm here I'm the real deal I'm engaging with the audience um, and that's what Twitter likes. Twitter makes money off of their platform off keeping people engaged in Twitter, not Facebook, not Instagram. They want the they want the conversation in and on their platform. So you coming and you engaging and you in, interacting with um, people on the platform is what they love and like. And my first day, people, I um, wish I could show you this right now, but I want cameras right here and set on this, so I don't want to mess with it. My first day, um, shout out to. Uh, uh, What's his name? Um, uh, let me see. Give me one second. I'll bring him up. He's a famous author right here. Um, very famous author. And, um, <clears throat> you know, me and him, he, 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 I, I, I linked to him and he linked back to me. And it was just amazing. It was very amazing that um, somebody would, you know, take time out to even respond to a, something that I put out. And it was just phenomenal, you guys. It was really phenomenal. And I'm just... Shout out to this gentleman, and um, yeah, let me go to my Amazon. It's taking me too long to get to him. Shout out to this gentleman. He's he has a phenomenal book. This book, um, I recommend everybody and anybody that that cares about their self and their life and the future of their family, and building up wealth for you know generationals for your offspring. Um, his name is Ed Milet. Ed M Y L E T T. It'll be down. Max Out Your Life is the name of the book. I'll leave a link down below. But yeah, so I didn't even know this gentleman. I, I liked him. I saw a post that he put out. I commented on it. I said, way to go. And he 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 added me. He got back at me and it was marvelous. It made me feel good. But another thing that you want to do is, like I say, like, comment, and um, follow and repost their stuff. Along with that <clears throat> um, is... Don't be, um, you know, build your own identity, um, engage in things that's pri primarily um, relatable to you. So I'll stay in prison reform, justice. I'll stay in, in, in the law areas, um, fighting for anyone that's been incarcerated, fighting for felons. I'll stay in that realm. You know, you know what realm, politicians and everybody that, um, that, that really listens and follows the laws. And um, that's my audience. And those are the ones that I want to engage with. So stay engaged in your niche. Don't go too far out. These are the people that's going to listen to you. So you want to first attack and address the people who you are going to do business with. Next, you want to um, <clears throat> know your audience. Well, that that's self-explanatory. You want to know your audience. You're going to use YouTube. If you have a you know YouTube channel, or you can do this. This is this is this is this is what I'm going to do next that I haven't even done yet. But this is a proven theory. Um, you have your favorite YouTube videos. You might have this one. Thank you. Shout out to Don Felon the Felon. Shout out to Felon the Felon dot com. Your favorite YouTube videos that you find useful that benefits you the most that has gave you the most um, value. Share them. Share them on Twitter. That right there um, and that engagement, if it found value to you, someone else will find value in it. And you're not being selfish. This is the name of the game, guys. You can't be selfish. You can't keep everything. Oh, this video, um, YouTuber gives great advice. I don't want anyone else to know the advice. I'm just going to take all his advice and then use it and not never share his actual platform because I'm trying to do the same, you know, do the same thing or whatever. Share that guy. Share all of the good um, information that you get. Books, blogs, websites, YouTube videos. Share them, guys. And that's another way to engage audience members, people that's like-minded and get followers. I'm going to do that right when I get off this video. So you want to share YouTube videos, guys. And YouTube does allow you to insert the videos and share them.
um, share blogs, share anything, reciprocate content. That is one of the most important things to this social media that I'm learning along my journey is that we have to reciprocate and share things. You don't always have to be creating or knowing how to write or an expert blogger. You can take other people's work that they've already done that relates to you, that you found value in, find value in, and share it to the world. Share. So a lot of times you want to get those followers, share very good content, know how to find the best content. And you should already know that, look, you found me. So share very valuable content. That's another one. Tweet on a question. This is another one right here. That's a hooker. We always want to be um, selling, uh, you know, call action to call, taking call actions. It's always ask questions. Hey, you guys, do you guys want to learn how to grow your Twitter following to a thousand um, followers? That's a question. Hey, you guys, do you want to blah, blah, blah? That's a question. Question mark. Ask questions. Engage with your audience. Again, Twitter wants to keep everybody engaged on their platform. So the more questions and engagement and back and forth dialogue that you get, the more the algorithm will like you and the higher your chances are in coming up in the search results. Always remember that. It's not against, you're not you versus the other people on Twitter. It's you versus that algorithm. These computers are taking over, you guys. You got to know about the algorithms and know how to work within them. So remember that. Um, the amount of content, um, the more the better. Um, some people think that you need to bombard it, having all this content. Some people say put out one to three to five posts a day. Just make sure that they're, that they're, that they're smart posts and that they're, good posts. So I would say, you know, in the beginning, you can beat it down like me following all of these people, um, which is right, you know, because you have to get yourself out there. But once you do get the ball going, you can break it down to one to five posts a day and just make sure that they're, they have some good substance. Um, um, the pain, and this is the pain of waiting to see the followers go up. Ha! This is where I am right now. I'm doing all this work. You know, I'm really engaging with my audience, engaging with the platform, you know, beating Twitter's door down. And it's going to be slow at first. Like I say, I'm up to 89 followers right now. I just started roughly four days ago. You know, I didn't want to do anything over the weekend. I'd be like Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Monday, today's Tuesday. Just sitting back watching the followers go up. It's like, ah, I'm already following over 500 people and I barely have 100 followers myself. So. It's going to be slow in the beginning, but believe me, people, this stuff is worth worth doing and it works. And the more consistent you are, the better. You can't do anything with one day I'm going to send out 10 posts and follow 10 people and then I'm not going to touch it for a month. You have to stay consistent, have to stay consistent, have to stay consistent. Uh, and just be patient. You know what I mean? Just be patient, stay consistent, stay looking for hot articles things that are rele relevant and share them, get them out there. So that's, those are a couple of, of the most um, basic, uh, simple grassroots way to grow your Twitter follower, grassroots without buying any software, without spending any money, without paying anyone, just engaging and doing it the right way. Um, you know, and then another another thing, you might want to do funny memes. You might want to put jokes out there. You don't want to steer. I'm, I'm giving you this just because. This is just an add-on. But you don't want to really um, mix your audience up with too much of content that's not um, relatable to what we're trying to, the goal that we're trying to reach, um, our website, our, you know, whatever that we believe. But we don't want to, you know, just because we want the followers to put out a lot of jokes, put out a lot of memes. And it has nothing to do with social justice, you know, prison reform, um, works, jobs for felons, um, rehabilitation, housing for felons. It has nothing to do with anything of any of that nature. So I don't want to confuse my people, but some people do it. Some people put out a lot of memes, a lot of jokes and clickbait. But you don't have to. Thank you for watching and enjoying with me today. Um, I'm trying to get better at this. I want to get better at these videos. Please comment, like, subscribe. Let me know how I did, if it helped you in any way. Um, and I'm just keeping it real with you. I'm, I'm coming from off the top of my head. You know what I mean? We're going to do this together. I'm actually, you know, this is my campaign right now. So follow me along my journey of the campaign. Um, 
my felon to felon campaign. Um, shout out to felon to felon so for supporting the YouTube channel. Um, go check them out, and I'll see you guys on the next episode.